A man is in custody after crashing his car into a convenience store in Blackfoot late last night. He led sheriff's deputies on a high speed chase through town just before that crash. Local News 8 Seth Ratliff is live there with more of what happened. We now know the name of the driver involved in Monday night's high speed chase, which led to massive damage at the White Eagle gas station in Blackfoot. According to the Blackfoot police, the driver is 39 year old Adam Gregory Rapola of Pocatello. According to the Bingham County Sheriff's Office, the male driver was allegedly smoking marijuana at the time of the crash. They say when they pulled him over, they could smell marijuana from his car. That's when the driver fled the scene. Security camera footage from the store shows the moments leading up to and after the crash. As deputies were attempting to catch back up to the vehicle, it crossed the railroad tracks at Judicial and Main Street and lost control. According to the store owner, the driver hit a power pole, which knocked out their footage for the moment of the crash. But you can see here the aftermath. I couldn't believe it, honestly. Um, it always sucks seeing another little local business get wrecked from a reckless act, but I was a little lost for words. I was more worried about the girls here because it's right around when they closed. But what they say they're most grateful for is that the crash wasn't even worse. According to the owner, Rapola crashed directly into the cage holding their propane tanks. Take a look right here at this damage. Uh, this tank is completely crushed from the force of that crash. According to the owner, if there had been just one spark, the entire building could have been a loss. Reporting in Blackfoot, I'm Local News 8's Seth Ratliff.